Here we go. Maybe some of you have heard about the scale park puncture, and there are lots of uh, systems like this uh, standard or standardized, or maybe other styles in the United States or the Japanese Yamamoto. We do, we do have a lot, we do have a lot. Tonight, I'm going to introduce this uh, one of the earliest and uh, most popular one and uh, widely used one, which is uh, a perfect system for especially neurological and mental disorders. They can do lots of other things, but uh, as a skip or puncture, as a modern system, it is the best indicated for neurological and mental disorders. It is called WHO because it was first proposed or published by the WHO in 1991, it's quite old. In that time, the acupuncturist or experts from the whole world made a proposal for the standardization of points numbers or points name like uh, large intestine four, you know that? It's called large intestine four in that proposal. Before that, there might be different names in China or in Japan, in Korea or in other countries. They may use different names or different number, numbering system. And in this proposal, it also the first time for the skill park puncture since it was effective and and uh, uh, how say uh, widely used in the clinic, it was necessary. And in that proposal, we find also ERAC puncture names. So it's kind of a standard that how the name comes from. This system is compressed of a point on the head or skip puncture. It is based on the traditional meridian series. So if you are a puncturist, you have had this education, it is quite easy to understand. For example, we have two points on the do my and unlike do uh, 23 points on the top, do 20. That's quite easy to understand the indications. Based on that, or more than that, it is more also based on the modern anatomy of the brain. I will go more details later. And also modern researches of the physiology and the pathology of the brain or the pathology of the brain diseases, including stroke or uh, dementia and other conditions. The simple, it's, uh, I would say it's one of the most uh, simplest system because it has only 14 points or 14 nines. Could you still remember how many points we have in the body? It's over 300 or over 360. If we put extra points in, it's over 1,000, 2,000. But in this system, it's only 14. That's it. simple enough, simple enough. But all the 14 nines are the finely selected or collected points. They are called lines, not a point, point. It's a lines. For example, on the forehead, there are four lines here, which is called MS. MS means microsystem. I will go more example later here, just introduction. Uh, they have four on the forehead and they have uh, three for the vertex and uh, the temple area here, two and uh, another two in the temper area and occiput three. It's in front of the head, behind the head and the natural and the top. It's almost uh, the whole area of the skip, of the skip. This system was created or standardized based on the first uh, skip or puncture system, which is was uh, invented or not invented, but proposed by Professor Zhao, Professor Zhao in 1971, and his system still widely used in China and other countries. He moved to the United States. That's why uh, the system is also quite uh, well known in the United States. Dr. Zhao, in his uh, system, it's called uh, like more like organs, like uh, the chest point or the stomach point, 
they'll give the limbs based on the anatomic uh, coronations, but in the standard, in the standard uh, system, it's called MS microsystem. It's a little, little bit different, but it's based on that. If we go back, and there are other system based on this, like a fans style, and also this uh, Tan style, the Zhu Mingqin style, and the Japanese Yamamoto new skipper puncture uh, Windsor, Windsor, which was proposed in 1973. They're quite different, they're quite different. Indications for this system, as I mentioned before, the most important or most popular use are for neurological conditions, like headache, stroke. I will say a little bit more about stroke. When I was an intern in the hospital, in the teaching hospital of Chengdu University of Traditional Chinese Medicine, there are lots of stroke patients. The people lie on the bed, people sitting on the chair. Every people, every man, every patient has needles on the head, on the head, and it helped. It helped for the stroke. Maybe in other countries, acupuncture is not uh, the frontline treatment. Like I am working here in Denmark. It's hardly used to treat the stroke with acupuncture. But in Asia countries or some American hospitals or some hospitals in Germany, it is quite highly recommended to use acupuncture for the rehabilitation for stroke. Actually, it is a good advantage. When people have needle on the head, they could also go to training, like for trilla, for physical therapy, for other or the speech speech treat, uh, treatment. It's an advantage. We could put the needles there, uh, leave the needle in the, on the head for two hours or three hours. That's quite special. And other theories, neurological conditions. Besides that, we can also use this to treat shen problem or psychological and psychiatric conditions like depression, anxiety. I have a good experience with this uh, skip up puncture for insomnia, depression, and also PTSD, PTSD. It can be used to other conditions, for example, uh, stomach ache, cardiology problems, and beta weight and so on. Uh, but normally I, we will, it's listed to combine other points. For example, for stomach problems, we can always combine stomach 36, 36. So uh, this is a uh, major uh, indications, neurological and uh, psychological. Actually, all of them are called Shen problems or the brain problems. It is an advantage to use this uh, skip because it directly stimulate the Shen, the Shen. It works, why it is so good or so effective? It is directly, directly work for Shen problems. And uh, we do have a lot of points that can treat Shen disorders on the head. The basic example is do 20, right? And maybe lots of you will use uh, in time. In time is also the point on the head. And we have more like do 24, which is called Shen Ting. The how the the house for Shen, not the house, sorry, the living room for Shen, and the Goblin Thirteen, Ban Shen, the root of Shen. It is more like a direct treatment or like a short way to to treat Shen disorders. Comparing with points on the hand, like Heart Three, Heart Seven which is called Shen Man. Yeah, it is also good for thumb problem, but it is not so effective or so direct as the points on the head. That's what we have learned from traditional acupuncture. And then one more thing in the Chinese medicine I want to mention for the brain. Maybe you remember that uh, it's the heart. The heart houses, and that's correct. Heart care. We can use heart points to treat some problems. But actually, there's another organ which also controls the shen, that is the brain. One of the uh, has extraordinary full organs, and the brain actually belongs to the kidney. 
right? The kidney generates the gene and the gene nourish the the bro the bone marrow and the head is called the sea of marrow. In that way, we have shen, which is anchored in the kidney, and this shen is called yuan shen, yuan shen, primary shen, primary shen, which is like or nourished by the yuan qi of the kidney. And the heart is here actually. Heart controls uh, a lot of kind of shen, which is called shi shen, which is more like our conscious, conscious, like uh, when you clap, you can feel the pain, you can hear the, the sound, that's the function of the heart. But the heart shen or the yuan shen is linked to the subconscious. Maybe you can't feel it, but it is there and plays vital roles in our body's function. In Qigong training or the internal alchemy or Taoistic medicine, we have a special part here. It is called Yi Wan, the muddy peel, or the brain, or the over Dantian. We have three Dantian in the body, which is also quite important for our life, for our life or for our energy. Since it's so important here, we will put needles around the head. Of course, it can treat lots of uh, problems of the shen disorders. And we do have lots of channels which go to the head. All the young channels go to the head. And uh, all the lower collaterals, all collateral meets on the head. On the head. That is why do 20 is called Bai Hui. Bai means 100. 100 is not exact number. It just means mainly all of them, lots of them. So all the meridians go to the head. We will put the channel, we put needles on the head, it can treat the body, like treat the stomach, treat the gynecology, treat the lung, whatever. That's a meridian theory too. We do have yang channels, but we also have yin channels, right? Just we don't see them too much. We do have the kidney channel, internal channel go to brain. We have the spleen channel, we have the heart channel, so on. Lots of yin channels also go to the head. That's a, a traditional explanation for points on the head. And nowadays they just called their MS points, MS points. It is MS since there is also a microsystem here. There are points on the forehead. Looks like a, a body lying on the forehead. There are four points, one, two, three, four. It's easy to remember. One is for the head, two is for the chest, three is for the ab uh, three is for the digestion, the liver and the stomach, and four is for the lower abdomen. If we understand this uh, kind of relationship, it's quite easy. There are some microsoft like the ear acupuncture, like the ear puncture. I mentioned a little bit of do twenty. All the points on the Head actually can be regarded as a extension of do twenty. All the points function are similar to treat shen problems and to treat uh, like to calm down the wind and uh, to treat uh, brain problems and so on. If we can understand do twenty, we can understand all the points on the head. On the head. When we use do twenty, the first function I'd like to say that to calm down the wind and calm down the yang, rebellious yang, especially those problems or those passages from uh, liver, like uh, high blood pressure. The it, it is a typical hyperactive liver yang or tinnitus, dizziness, headache, and so on, because the liver channel, its special one, has a branch directly go to do 20, do 20. And it also can supplement supplement the brain or supplement the jing, spinal cord, which means kidney jing. Like uh, dementia, it's a degeneration problem, which can be regarding kidney gene deficiency, and do 20 can help that, help that. 
And for some disorders, psychiatric, psycholog uh, psychological, like insomnia, bi 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 bipolar, uh, depression, and so on, do trend is also good. And sometimes maybe we will use a lot of, we will also use the Susan Chong, Susan Chong to help the treatment on do 20. It can also lift yang do 20 by moxa, especially with moxa, moxa pushing treatment to treat collapse of qi, like general fatigue or incontinence, bedwetting and so on. Yeah, it's perfect one. Do 20 is so special, it can calm down it can also lift. That means it can regulate chi movement of the whole body. That's also a function brain to government, to govern or to regulate the whole body. And the point can also treat five offices, like the ear, nose, throat, mouth, tongue, facial problems, and so on. Yeah, that's just uh, the organs, the, the, the structures on the head, for example, I use that to treat uh, loss of smell. One of the key symptoms of lung COVID. It works very well. Right, that's 220. So many good functions. That's also functions of the 14 skip up puncture lines in Chinese medicine. Now, let's talk a little bit about the functions, precise functions based on the anatomy of the brain, of the brain. We have uh, different regions in the brain. Maybe some of you have learned it. I will from the, the here, number one, for example, that is for the visual, visual area, visual area. No, that means when we put needle in the occiput, it can treat the eye problem, vision problem. Or in the front, that's a frontal, region 13, I can make it bigger maybe. Um, yeah, the region 13 is for the collection, planning, judgment, emotional expression, creativity, inhibition. It's more for our emotions. For example, when people have stress, have impulse, have insomnia, angry, Emotional disorders, that's the best. It is true. In the <clears throat> skip acupuncture, there are four lines here in the forehead that are the best to treat in psychological problems or mental disorders. That is also based on the anatomy. And other areas like three, three is for the motor, and nine, nine is for the uh, sensation, like stroke. After stroke, people can't move the arm, can't move the leg, or they can't feel. Then we have needles, which can help the motor functions and help the feelings. I will show that later. That's a basic idea of this uh, modern points, modern points, based on anatomy of the brain cortex. For example, number seven, we can go more. We know that in the lateral area or the sensory homunculus, like here. It's a very long area from the top to the ear. We can't put a long needle in that way, paint it. it's not possible. We need to make it more precisely. It is also based on anatomy. On the over, upper, upper part of this line, it is for the arm. Uh, leg here, or do it here. And the upper part is for the leg and truck. In the middle part is for the arm. For the lower part is for the face and tongue and throat. So for sensory problem like pain, uh, for example, this uh, is uh, sciatica, sciatica pain, it is a problem of the leg, right? So then we need to choose just the upper part of it. Like when people lost uh, uh, after chemo, chemotherapy, they have strange feeling, uh, taste, it is tongue problems. Then we need to choose the lower part of it. So in this uh, uh, oblique line there. If you could understand this, we know that this escape uh, puncture is very precise, very pre precise treatment based on the diagnosis. Where is the problem or which, 
which brain cortex is involved. Involved. Right, there's some uh, theory behind it. Now let's go to some examples. The forehead, they have MS1 to MS4. It's quite simple how to locate it. We need to find the hairline first, hairline. Here is a hairline, right? Hairline. You see hairline here, hairline. If uh, you don't have hair, don't worry. We can use these fingers to find it. The hairline is about three turns from the yin tang. So if people have too high or too hair like to know, just use your hands to find where is the hair line. It's about three turn. And all the four lines here, they are located half turn over the hair line and half turn inferior. That means in that way, it is half turn and half turn. It's the same way to find it. And one is just in middle line, and the two is in the color, internal color of the eyes here. And three is for the pupil. And four is for the outer color of the eye. It's very simple to find it. Just uh, ask people to look the eye, to have the eye look forward, look forward. Then you can find the four lines. And the one is, of, of course, is on the do channel, on the do channel. And two is on the blender channel. And the three is on the goblin channel, goblin channel. And the four, it's, uh, it's a little bit complicated. It's not on the stomach, aid, it's, but it's close to stomach channel. They do have collections to our traditional meridians. So what is the function in general? They are to treat lots of uh, mental related problems. That's a frontal area, frontal area. Like uh, for the executive process, for planning, some people can't make a plan. Or behaviors, problem solving, volunteer control, impulse, for example, language problems, intelligence. Yeah, it's a good word. We all need better intelligence. But on the other way, if uh, there is not a good intelligence, could be degeneration problems. We can treat that too. And emotional control. I think a lot of people have a con have problem to to deal with the emotions now. In Chinese medicine, like too much anger, too much fear, too much uh, thinking, and so on. That's uh, emotion controls. In general, we can use this area to treat different th shen problems, different shen problems. I use it a lot. I use it a lot. And in traditional acupuncture, we do have points in, in this area, which is called in tang. In town here, in town here, where we do it, treat all shen problems. But based on this uh, anatomy, we could see that, uh, let's go a little bit back. Yeah. Whereas in town, in town is here. But now we, we have uh, more needles like this to stimulate the bigger area. I would say, uh, the scape of puncture is more, is better or more sensitive or more effective than the traditional in time. More precisely. And here is a picture of these four needles or four points. You can see that one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And those four points is a perfect microsystem. As I mentioned before, I will go back to show this microsystem here. Here's the middle, one, two, three, four. Now you know the function. What's the function for? One is for the head, two is for the chest, three is for the digestion system, the stomach, the spleen, and four is for the low abdomen, for the kidney and the full organs, full organs. Easy, huh? Here, you could say the microsystem here. One, two, three, four, like a body standing there, like a body standing there. Head, upper jaw, I would say it's also like uh, the upper jaw, middle jaw, and the lower jaw, lower jaw problems. 
For example, four, four is used to treat the different conditions, the abdomen related to kidney, that could be gynecology problems, mass problems like impotence, impotence, and the beta weighting, that's also kidney system, no gel. Besides to strengthen kidney, it can also drain damp heat in the lower gel. Yeah, that's a capacity in the lower gel. It is close to the points, stomach eight. We know the function of stomach eight, that's to reduce, uh, to clear flame, flame. It can be regarded as a same point, same point. That's uh, the first example. The second example I want to show you is this uh, special area on the vertex and temporal region, MS uh, five, six, and seven. Five is quite simple. It's uh, the from two twenty to twenty one. That's uh, one half turn line in this between these two. It is a function to twenty actually, and six and seven. Six is from the Chen Sen Chong, which is one turn from two twenty to Goblin six, and the seven to twenty to Goblin seven. Goblin seven. This two line are correlated to the two line here. Maybe you still remember the the blue one is for the motor 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 movement and the seven is for the sensation. For example, stroke. If they have movement problems and uh, feeling problems, we need to use uh, both of them, both of them. And then we could be making this uh, more uh, precisely, where is the stroke? Let's say uh, if people has only stroke on the arm, only stroke on the arm, then we will choose only the middle part of it. That means the middle two fifth of the opposite. Opposite. That is a good point. Lots of research on that. Lots of doctors use that. Are quite effective to help the problem of stroke. Here, yeah. the middle part is for the neck, arm, and hand, and hand. We can also use it for the carpal tunnel, which has only pain. We could also use it for the like uh, uh, a frozen shoulder, frozen shoulder and so on. Or we could also use it to the diabetes, neuropathy, neuropathy of diabetes. So uh, just find out where is the problem, where is the problem, and then choose this uh, specific section it's also possible to use the whole three sections here, here, and here. For example, when people have stroke of the arm, the leg, yeah, or when people have pain of the arthritis, they have pain all over the carpet, uh, all over the body. So we just use three needles there to the three sections. That's two examples, the two areas in the frontal and MS1 to 4 and on the top of the head, MS6, 5, 6, and 7. And techniques, if you use do if you use in tongue a lot, it won't be so difficult. It's almost the same as we puncture puncture uh, in tongue in tongue. It's called a pain treating. Pain treating or horizontal pain treating. We need to puncture about one to one one point one turn deeper. It could be deeper than other points since we need to stimulate the whole line. For example, here we need to stimulate the whole area. It's necessary to use to puncture one one point five turn. If we only puncture a little bit, it won't work. It won't work. That's a little bit special. The depth is one to one point five trend, and on the bank we have points which are two trend long, two trend long. And manipulation, I would suggest fast rotating to make dirty, to make dirty. Unfortunately, we there is no such kind of a supplementing or reducing technique. Some people do it, but I would say it's not necessary. It's more about to stimulate this uh, or activate 
this uh, related uh, cortex area. It's a modern way. Once it is activated, the brain is working. Brain is working. So uh, you can use all technique to make dirty. Dirty is important. And on the head, it's not so comfortable to have uh, thrusting the lifting technique. It's too painful. So I would suggest to do just a rotating, rotating technique. It's also possible to end uh, electricity, electricity, especially when we treat a stroke or other uh, nerve problem like uh, spine cord injury, spinal cord injury. We do need a stronger stimulation. The electricity should be used. Electricity. And when we remove the needles, remember to press a cotton to stop bleeding, not bleeding, but hemat hematoma. Lots of people will have some kind of bleeding there. So it's a good idea just to use a cotton to press there to avoid, to avoid it. Here, I'm show how to puncture. We puncture through the skin first, and then let needle go under the skin and between the skin and the scalp. It's quite safe to do it. It's quite safe. Don't worry. And it's, it is not so painful. I have a video to show you how to puncture this uh, needle there, this point. Yeah. The first thing to penetrate the skin, people feel pain because the maybe the needle is stuck in the skin. But if you can puncture the puncture skin quickly, there won't be any pain. Or maybe just a little bit pain. Yes, I have been time. So after you puncture the skin, press the needle, press the needle, and then the pain go through. And bend the needle. Press the needle a little bit, then go smoothly under the skin, under the skin. And uh, we need to uh, puncture about one turn in this area. And the technique quite simple, rotate. Rotate to make people have dirty. Rotate the needle. And we can also scram the handle to make dirty. And MS2, it's the same way to treat, to puncture all the needles in the front. So one of our students is doing this. That's how we have our live classes in Denmark. We had lots of practice. We puncture each other. So if we could have some students without hair, that could be much easier to say and to practice. And more. Right. And also the same way for MS5, that is a point between do 20 and do 21, puncture the skin first and then press the needle and then thrust in slowly, slowly. Some people, uh, let me just go back. Sometimes there could be a small uh, bone bump here. You can't go through, that's quite normal. You will retreat the needle a little bit, withdraw the needle a little bit and press more and then the needle will go through. Go through. If you can't do it, you just put another needle here. Understand me? I will draw it here. Let's say uh, that a smooth head or scalp, when there's something there, a, a bone. If you can't go through, you can just put another needle here, another needle here. If you're not so good and put a long needle, it's also okay to use a two or three short needle. Anyhow, just to puncture the whole area, like you need, we need to stimulate the whole line, that's important. Don't matter, use one needle or 10 needles.
And we can also use electricity. That's with my partner. Our uh, If we want to use electricity, for example, M7, we can put two needles towards each other, towards each other. That is goblin seven. And another needle is do 20, do 20. And put the electricity on. That's quite helpful especially when there are some series of physical nerve problems like stroke, like stroke. And just ask people, how could you feel it? Could you feel it? Oh, it's too much or too little? All right, that's uh, some techniques. Now I will show some research. We could find a lot of research on it, on the skipper puncture. For example, this uh, stroke, acute ischemic stroke. The people with uh, artery ischemic stroke. And there are two treatment, control group and the skipper puncture group. The points used are M is five, six, seven. Those three points I just mentioned on the top or on the lateral. And after puncturing, they use fMRI, fMRI to scan and to find what is happening before and after treatment. You find after treatment. They found that skip our puncture can specifically strengthen the functional activity of the brain regions, like those regions. They're more active after needling, after needling. Relate to sensory integration, language processing, and motor coordination. Sensory, motor, and language, which are common problems after stroke, after stroke. That is one example. Another one is a phantom, phantom limb pain. It is not easy to treat after operation. It's a case study. A, man, a lady suffered arm, POP and POS, phantom um, pain, phantom lip sensation and the phantom lip pain. It's kind of a fading problem in the pain. Yeah, it's, a, it's sensation problems after amputation. Points used are MS7, as I mentioned before, MS7 is here. That's for the sensory, that's for feeling, for feeling. And Susan that's like 220, or like MS5, MS5, that's on the top, on the top. It's quite amazing effect. Immediately after treatment, the patient loaded significant relief, both PAP and POS. That's good. And in the second treatment, just two days later, and the VAS, VAS score for the pain was only four, and the SPS is three, much better, much better, almost gone. And no, no, no adverse effects. As mentioned, that's quite safe, actually. And the effect six, lasted for six months. And the file treatment completely free of uh, pain and uh, sensation problems. So in a word, from this case, we could cure the phantom pain or other feeling problems after operation. And one more research. Um, it's a basic re fundamental research on RANTS, which saying that uh, escape our puncture could affect the neurons, the neurons. It uh, can protect, protect the effect of scale puncture with exercise treatment on neurons in rats with brain injury, brain injury. Yeah, it's like our uh, stroke treatment. We do have acupuncture treatment and we do also rehab training. And this is more special one. It's a protective, 
protective effect, protective effect. So the last part, I'd like to show a, a case, two cases. Lady has depression, depression, and uh, yeah, psychosomatic symptoms, six months because of divorce, divorce. It's quite common that when people have uh, mental disorders or depression, that there are lots of pain or something on the body, on the body. Pulse wiring, which is typical for stress or depression after this uh, divorce, liver cheese dangulation, and the purple sublingual vine, that means kind of a steady uh, state, uh, cheese dang, maybe a little bit blastesis, a little bit blastesis. My diagnosis was a liver cheese dangulation. And points I used one and three, one and three. Maybe you can't remember what's the function of one and three. I will show you here. One is for the head and all the shun disorders. So it doesn't matter what kind of problem it is, just use one. It uh, I will I use it to replace yin tang to replace yin tang. And three, three is here, three is on the goblin channel. It is for the liver. So when people have liver cheese dangulation, I will combine with three. One and three are the most uh, commonly used couple in my clinic. One and three. And pericardium six and liver three, just some um, points on, on, on the body. You can use other points you like, like liver 14, like heart C, whatever point. It's a good idea to combine some points on the body based on the diagnosis. diagnosis. If we don't use that, if we don't use the uh, child's medicine diagnosis, like only one or three, maybe the treatment is not so precise. And the mental problems in child's medicine can be excess, can be deficiency. If there's only excessive problems, like only liver chest tension, maybe, MS1, MS3 could be enough, but when there is also kind of a deficiency, like a blood deficiency, like qi deficiency and so on, actually people will feel very tired, very tired because there's qi deficiency and acupuncture, we don't treat it. The condition could become worse. Therefore, I will always suggest a combination based on TCM diagnosis, especially when there's kind of deficiency, deficiency. And last case, that's a neuropathy. I would like also to use this for neuropathy. I do have lots of neuropathy patient, patient after corona, chemo, or diabetes, diabetes. He had liver cancer with multiple metastasis. I can't cure it, no, but I can help the pain. That's for sure, neuropathy. And that's a pain that the tongue, it's uh, actually blue or purple, purple. And we could say that there are lots of, uh, lots of wrinkles uh, 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 there. That means yin shui, yin shui, qi shui, blue and pale actually. It's complicated. She had uh, lots of uh, chemo, so uh, so complicated. But blood says that's my focus and Xue Xu for the neuropathy. In Chinese medicine, which is called Xue B, blood B syndrome, blood B syndrome. I used uh, MS5 and MS7, MS7, MS7 as mentioned before, that is for the failing problems, that's perfect for this one. And a five, like to 20, can treat the lots of uh, sun problems and can strengthen Qi, lift Qi, and I combine the master tone points to strengthen the body, lingun dabai, that's here, like large intestine four, for deficiencies and blastocysts. That's my favorite when there is uh, both deficiency and uh, excess. And si it's, it's also master tone points, which is translated as uh, four extremities, extremities like arms and legs. 
that a special well in Macedon to treat uh, neuropathy, which is located one turn over spleen six, one turn over spleen six. And it worked. Uh, his uh, neuropathy was almost gone after three or four treatment, and he continued to other treatment. But for this condition, I will suggest, uh, strongly suggest uh, skip up puncture. Skip up puncture. Right, that the two cases, I sh uh, demonstrate how to combine the skip up puncture and other points you have learned or you want to use. That's perfect way in that one. Right, that's it. That's introduction. I, we have 10 minutes for questions, all questions. You are welcome to use your chat or your microphone. If you want to ask questions, um, please unmute or just write them in the chat. I have a question. Yeah, sure. So if you're, what is the, um, if you're using electroacupuncture as well on the scalp, yeah. um, is there a significant difference? No, uh, uh, yes. Like uh, when people have brain damage or spine damage, their feeling is quite uh, reduced. They're not so sensitive. Then electricity is necessary to make a strong stimulation or stimulate the neurons. If there's no such kind of physical damage, it's not necessary. For example, when people have kind of anxiety, insomnia, depression, mm. not necessary. Only when there's serious physical damages. Mm. So loss of sensation as well. Yeah, exactly, like stroke. Mm. For mental disorders, I, will, I won't suggest it. And then the stimulants is uh, as strong as they can handle, or is it yeah. just um... yeah the car the 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 currents, the how say this uh, frequency is quite a little bit different. Mm -hmm. We have high frequency, like hundred hertz for mm -hmm. for chronic condition for acute conditions, and low mm -hmm. frequency for chronic conditions. If you're not sure which frequency to use, you can use this uh, intermittent. Or alternative, the shifting, mm -hmm. shifting, yeah. shifting frequency. Maybe you have other theories to use. Just do it. Uh, but in in this escape puncture, that's not the key point. The key point is that people can feel them, and the brain activated. The neuron can be activated. Neuropathy can happen. New, sorry, not neuropathy. Neuplasticity, neuplasticity. We can stimulate, promote the neuro neuplasticity. Mm. Any question or something? And then let's say, uh, oh, thank you, Karen. What you're saying? Oh, it was uh, just a, a message to me. It's a private oh, message. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. If there's well, think... more question, I'll see. Uh, maybe that's it. Will you see something yeah. or some uh, conclusion? Uh, or... Unless you want something to add, then that's um, it. I will see. So, uh, and then this is. Uh, I will still see it again. That's this the system is quite good for neurological problems and physiological and psychological problems, psychiatric problems. That's the best. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, and well, we still have a couple of minutes. Another question just came to mind. Um, what, uh, in your experience, what is the best combination 
for um, scalp acupuncture? Is it just regular body acupuncture? Or because you also mentioned master tongue points, in your experience, do you find that a, a, a very good combination or it's just in general body acupuncture points and scalp acupuncture? Yeah. If mm -hmm. I combine, mm -hmm. I will choose skip. For example, when there are mental problems or neural mm -hmm. problems, I will use skip as primary, as a core point, core structure. Like in this uh, depression lady, I will use MS1, MS3 as primary points. The other points are just for patterns. Maybe in this case, they have liver cheese dangulation, we use program six and liver three. A lot of case, maybe they have lots of dampness. I won't use them, I will use another one. Uh, when there's a case with lots of blastocysts, I definitely will use different. So it's all uh -huh. based on the pattern diagnosis. I can't see uh, there are any points to treat everything, but uh, it's possible to modify based on this. Mm -hmm. And it's a mental disorders. MS1 for the shen problems or shen problems, MS3 for the liver system. And it's also a goblin points. Actually, it's on the goblin uh, uh, 15. It also, goblin 15 and 13 are very close. They are also to treat shen problems. Mm -hmm. So a diagnosis. And the method, you can combine other system. It can be common. Uh, points like uh, pericardium 6 or liver 3 can be master tongue, can be balance, it can be any system you have learned. But the ones I want to mention, if you already chosen points here on the head, like uh, MS1, MS3, maybe it's not so good mm. to combine auricular. Auricular is also points on the head. Uh, so it's okay, better yeah. to use some distal, like points on arm, points on the leg, or points on the truck. Uh, some distal points could be better. Mm -hmm. All right. You can also combine copying the gua, gua sha for the liver chest and it's also quite good. Like we do copying on blender 18, uh, 15, 16, 18, 19, in those areas that could mm -hmm. also help to, to release chest stagnation. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Uh, if there are no right. more questions, I propose uh, that's it for this evening. Let me just remind you that, um, again, this is a, a, the free part of a three-part course. If you're interested, just um, send us an email, go to the website, www.thecmcommunity.com and send us an email. Uh, once again, thank everybody. Thank you everybody for your time.